Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Rosehell, a Canadian company, has proposed to Germany the establishment of a factory for the production of MRAP vehicles on German soil, as reported by Bild on April 23, 2024. This proposal accompanies another offer, the immediate delivery of 100 MRAP vehicles destined for Ukraine. Bild reported on April 22, 2024, that a large delivery of up to 400 mine-protected vehicles, MRAP, had been delayed for months due to insufficient mine protection certificates and the absence of export permits. In response, the CEO of the Canadian competitor, Rosehell, contacted Bild on April 23, 2024. After reading your recent article about the current equipment procurement of the German Ministry of Defense, I felt compelled to provide information about our MRAP vehicles, which I believe are a much better alternative. Shimanov's offer to the German Defense Minister, Boris Pistorius, is as follows, superior armored vehicles with significant cost-saving potential for German taxpayers. And all this at half the price of the German competitor, FFG, and its American supplier, TAG. We can offer you the most competitive prices, less than €375,000 per MRAP. FFG had quoted a vehicle price of €787,500, including all ancillary costs per vehicle, which was considered plausible by Pistorius Ministry in mid-2023. However, not a single mine-protected vehicle has been delivered to date because the necessary mine protection certificates are missing for the vehicles primarily manufactured in the United States. In contrast, the Canadians promised build and the Germans to be able to deliver without delay. We currently have 100 units of the new Senator MRAP in stock, which could be delivered to Ukraine immediately. In addition, the company is currently producing 140 vehicles per month. All 400 vehicles promised by Germany to Ukraine could thus be delivered later this year. Regarding the necessary mine protection certificates, the Canadians are also well positioned, says Shimanov to build, our MRAPs are tested and certified according to NATO Stanag 4569 AEP 55 Volume 2 Level 2 for Ballistic and Level 3A, 2B, and 2C with 25 kg TNT from the side. The vehicles of the Canadians are battle-tested in Ukraine. Shimanov proudly states, Rosehell has already successfully delivered over 1,000 APCs and MRAPs to Ukraine, with all deliveries being on time or ahead of schedule. Additionally, the Canadian arms manufacturer made a spectacular offer to Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Defence Minister Boris Pistorius, which should fit perfectly into their era of change philosophy, the opening of an MRAP factory to support Ukraine in Germany. Local production in Germany would save logistical costs, create jobs, and keep the investment in the country, thus saving taxpayers money. Bild promptly forwarded the offer and contact details of the Canadians to Boris Pistorius Ministry of Defence on Monday, but the ministry has so far declined to comment on this information. In contrast, Green budgeter Sebastian Schaefer reacted immediately. He told Bild, Ukraine needs quick and comprehensive support. We should use all possible options. Every offer must be examined for this purpose. That's all for now. See you later.